We're back with your weekly theme park news roundup. It's been one hell of a week for UK parks, and there's some exciting news from other parks around the world too. First off, let's address the elephant, I mean Velociraptor, in the room. We heard last week that the highly anticipated ride Velocicoaster at Universal's Islands of Adventure will open on the 10th of June. The brand new Jurassic World themed Intamin double launch coaster will feature four inversions and has been the subject of a lot of hype among coaster enthusiasts. Universal shared this video on their social media to announce the opening date of the ride. It's been a long time coming, but now we finally have a Velocicoaster opening date. Thanks to COVID-19 restrictions easing, theme parks in the UK reopened on Monday the 12th of April. The parks are still operating with COVID safety measures as they did last year, including reduced capacity, mandatory face masks and increased cleaning. It was a particularly exciting day for Polden's Park, who also debuted their brand new area, Tornado Springs. The area, which was meant to open last spring, includes Storm Chaser, a muck ride spinning coaster, and Cyclonator, a Zamperla Discovery, along with a bunch of other smaller rides and food outlets. We were actually there for the opening day, and it was fantastic. It was also a big day for Chessington World of Adventures, who debuted their new, seriously well-themed SPF Visa Drop Tower, Croc Drop, what a name. I'm not sure I've ever seen such a visually impressive family flat ride. Allegedly, it had a queue of 180 minutes at the start of the day too. Drayton Manor also opened their recently rethemed area of the park, Adventure Cove, and announced that their River Rapids ride will also be reopening in the next few months with brand new boats. Last year, the park went into administration and was subsequently bought by the Looping Group, who owns a mixture of theme parks across Europe. This is the first investment of what seems like many from the Looping Group, so fingers crossed, Drayton Manor's future should be bright. It's been a big week in the UK so far, and it's only Wednesday. Wooden Dragon Roller Coaster has begun testing at Jinan Sunak Land, the Gravity Group designed roller coaster located in China has officially begun testing ahead of its 2021 opening date. The ride joins the long list of other wooden roller coasters that have popped up across China during the last five years or so. It looks to feature a super fast airtime filled layout with some light theming elements throughout, another solid wooden coaster by the Gravity Group. The Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure Park is set to open on the 4th of June. Disney's long-awaited Avengers Campus themed to the Marvel's Avengers films, will open to residents of California on June 4th, including the brand new interactive dart ride, Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure. The area also better integrates the already existing Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout ride with the rest of the park. In the Avengers campus, guests will also be able to meet a whole host of Marvel superheroes and even witness Spider-Man flying through the sky Disney did it! They made an animatronic that can literally do aerial backflips. Mental. Shaman at Gardaland has been retracked ahead of the 2021 season. Pictures surfaced last year showing the ride, Gardaland's oldest operating roller coaster, being torn down. Many were concerned that the ride would close for good without any formal announcements. Fortunately for the five fans of this Vekoma MK1200 looping coaster, this wasn't the case. The majority of the ride's track has been replaced in an attempt to improve the ride experience and increase its lifespan. They've also added some cool totem pole effect artwork to the supports. And there we go, another week wrapped up. I think I'm going to head off to Orlando and join the queue for Velocicoaster now while it's still short. I can wait two months for that beauty.